Now, we'll go uh, when he came to his senses. Have all of us come to our senses and understand that we don't need to live like that anymore. Can I get a show? Have most of us come to our senses? Are we still down on, on we're straddling the fence? And we're not sure. Okay, here we go. On page 99, we'll go a little bit further. When choosing a person for step five, we'll want to select a loving, caring person, one who will be, one who will be there for us and who will provide unconditional acceptance. The person must be dependable, trustworthy, here the, here the, uh, the uh, qualifications, trustworthy, and not shocked or offended by what we will reveal. It is wise to choose someone who's familiar with the program. Sharing will flow easily if there's honesty and, and uh, opportunities for feedback from the other person. Trusting the person with whom we are to share our story is vital to the success of step number five. We will provide a safe and will provide a safe atmosphere. Can I get somebody to read the next part of the passage? Don't everybody read at the same time. <laughs> Bearing the burden of our transgression drains us of vital energy. Can Hold on, Jerry. We had, when, when, when I kept silent. Huh? In the box. Oh, in the Bible. In the box. In the box. Mm -mm. In the box. In the box. That's what I was reading. No, you're no, reading right the bottom. Right really top of the document. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For days and nights, your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Bearing the burden of our transgression drains us of vital energy. Confession will renew our existence. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, have any of us ever, you ever heard this term, you got rocks in your bed? <laughs> well, have you, ever, have you ever done something and you know what you did was wrong and you lay down and, and, and you can't get no rest? You, you, you know you're going to have to come clean with that situation. You know that you're going to have to come face to face with what it is. And, 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 and uh, you can run, but you can't hide. You you can't run away from the fact that you know that you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to address what it was that you've done. And so you finally say, you know what? Even if maybe maybe you whooped your kids, I'll put it like this in terms of drugs and alcohol. You whooped your kids, maybe you was a little bit too angry when you did it, or or, or, or maybe you 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 accused them when when they really did, you didn't give them a chance to tell the both sides of the story. And you say, you know what? Uh, you know you went back and straightened out that situation. Or you lied to get money from somebody, your wife or your husband, to use to get some drugs, and you know you weren't honest about when you took that money. And you know you're going to use that money to get drugs. My point of it is, as he says, he talks about it here, you know, when he kept silent, you know, he, just, he had a rough time. And finally he came clean and told the truth about it. Can anybody identify with they've done something and they just had a hard time going to sleep? They had a hard, a hard time stomaching it. Covering up, and you didn't feel good until you want to want to talk. Can you can you identify? <coughs> I really don't want to say it. But but can, it's, yeah, it's, isn't that the worst feeling? It's yeah. like it's all. I, I don't want to get graphic, but it's like it's right here and want to come up, and you just yeah. fighting to keep it down. Yeah. And it ain't gonna be right. It, uh huh. It makes you sick to your stomach. It really does. It's not gonna be right until you come clean about it. And so this is what he does. He gives us an opportunity to come clean about it, and he says, "Bearing the bearing." The burden of our transgression. But but the good part about it is that he forgives us. And here's another thing I want to say in terms of that. Uh, God is always ready. I tell you what, let's let's turn to while we were yet sinners. Let's turn to uh, Romans. I want to say Romans chapter 5. Let's see. if uh, do is, is it conditional? Is it something that, we, that we've got to do for, in terms of uh, God being willing to forgive us? And is he able to forgive us? I like that. Romans chapter 5. In terms of bearing our transgressions. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. And here's what he says. Are we there? Here's what he says. Uh, but God commended his love in terms of bearing our transgression towards us. In other words, it's right in the vicinity. Remember we talked about that with every, with, with every situation, he makes a way of escape. 
so we can bear it. So here's what he says. He committed his love towards us. It's available and accessible. Love is available and accessible. In that while we were yet sinners. So here's the deal. Even while you were in the throat, no matter how sinful you were, no matter how separated you are from God, he has a plan of salvation that's available and ready and accessible to you. So here's what he says. While you were yet sinners, and he says, uh, Christ died for you. And so he, bared, he, he, he embraced and bared uh, uh, what, uh, the sins of, of all people. Are you following what I'm saying? He made provisions uh, to, 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 to forgive us of our transgressions, whatever it is. God is ready to forgive you for it in terms of that. So he, he, he can actually, he, you know, he, he, he's made a way uh, in terms of him being Lord and Savior over every situation. He's Lord and Savior, and he'll provide deliverance in terms of making a way of escape out of that situation. But he's ready. He's provided for each and every one of us, no matter how sinful, uh, no matter how separated we are from him. He has a plan, and he welcomes us, and he loves us, and he wants us to be a part of his plan and purpose in terms of uh, delivering us out of that situation. Okay, let's move on on page uh, 99. Oh, we did that. We did that. We're on page... 100. Oh, and it even gets even better in terms of him uh, 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 making a way of escape, bearing our sins, delivering us from uh, uh, the challenges that we're confronted with in terms of being open, uh, admitting to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Can I get someone to read that at the top? Therefore, there it is. There she go. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. James 5.16 mm -hmm. Prayer, prayful sharing with a brother or sister in Christ prepares the way for healing to begin. Mm -hmm. And you know what, uh, as he says, the prayer, in other words, we're faithful, we really believe and trust that God is going to make a way, has made a way of escape out of these challenges that we've been confronted with, that we've come face to face with in terms of examining and working and, 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 and sharing Steps one through four. And, and not only that, not only do we, it, it, I like this, what we've learned here. Not only are we trusting God, he says the prayer of a righteous man, and we have faith that God will deliver us, but we're trusting him to do it for the other man as well, or for the other woman, or for somebody else. We're no longer selfish and self-centered no more. We want everybody to get, we want, we, we want all people to be, have the same opportunity at a fresh life as, as God has also provided us. Who would like to read the next one? He who does what? Thank you, brother. He who conceals his sins does not prosper. But whoever wow. confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Wow. Proverbs 28, 13. Mm -hmm. Step five, we must relentlessly expose the exact nature of our wrongs, being always certain of God's merciful part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so God, God is, as we look over these issues in times of steps one and nine, we have five. God not only is concerned about what we're concerned about, not only does he goes from being concerned in terms of giving us help, and then he moves from being concerned and being helpful that he, that he also provides us mercy. But even he goes a little bit further as we stay focused on God in terms of working our recovery plan. Uh, uh, he goes from providing us mercy to he protects us. You know what? Well, sometimes we need protection from ourselves. And then not only does he protect us, but he guides us through by, by, by providing us these programs and these power passages. And most of all, so we don't have rocks in our bed, he protects us, he guides us, and then finally he forgives us. That's a, that's, that's, that's a good plan in terms of allowing us to really to be the men and women uh, of recovery and of God, children of God, that he would have us to be. Let's move on a little bit further. And he says it takes considerable humility to bear ourselves to another. We are, we are about to reveal, uh, reveal our self-defeating, damaging, and harmful characteristics, character traits. We also will mention our positive strengths in balancing out and uh, worthwhile traits. We must do this to remove the mask we present to the world. It is a bold step toward eliminating our need for pretense and hiding. The following information is helpful when completing your fifth step. And we go on to that uh, 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 in terms of giving us ample time. Uh, and we go through th that helpful information. But for lack of a time, we'll go down a little bit further. If you have played the fool and exalted yourself, or if you have planned evil, clap your hand over your mouth. 
uh, acknowledging our lustful and prideful nature can be our first exercise in experiencing humility. Uh, we begin to understand how much God loves us. And we'll finish with this one. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, our step five mission helps us to realize how we have fallen short of God's plan for us. I want to bring this up. I, I'm, I'm, glad the way, I'm glad that he ended the way that he did. You know, a lot of times we can put people on pedestals and we can say, you know what, I don't want to share my fifth step. I'm going to be embarrassed. Everybody in here is one step away from or, or, or one drink away or one drug away from being back into the throes of, of substance abuse. Are you following what I'm saying? So, I mean, we're all here. We're all here to, uh, to, to better be equipped to work these steps and be better human beings. Are you following what I'm saying? And you'll, you'll be surprised. Uh, you know, share, those, share, admit it to somebody else. Admit it to somebody else. Open up. Anybody want to say anything? Anything, did anybody learn anything uh, new or, or anything that was helpful? And Brother, you was going to say something down the end? Yeah, I was going to say, um, I learned about here when he was talking about how we, we do our sharing and our professors things. Because uh, as many moms know, I've been going through this experience myself these last couple of days with my aunt passing. And then I was asking them uh, if I was going to be allowed to go to the funeral. And they told me that I had to be escorted and things like that. I said, well, I'm not in the penitentiary no more. You know, and uh, a lot of y'all can't go on the sacred burial ground since we're Apache Indian tribe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, come to find out I got to the new guy.